Governor comes with three different types of cards. You've got your respect cards, this is your point scoring system, and they come in ones, fives, and tens. 86 of those in the deck. Then you've got 72 crime cards, eight different crimes, nine of each. And then finally, you've got your decree cards, 24 wild cards. Some of them nice, some of them a little naughty. You know how it is. The main party game takes 30 to 90 minutes depending on the number of players. It's dead simple. Any old mug can play it. Start off by giving every player 7 respect points. Then shuffle the crime cards and deal them out equally amongst the players. When the dealer's ready, he shouts out, let's do business, and places any number of cards face down on the table. But they must be identical. You can't mix crimes when you're shopping. At this point, all the other players start doing business. Two here, three there, one there, don't matter. It's as long as you're always swapping identical cards. As soon as you manage to get nine identical crime cards, you shout out something like that and slap them down on the table for everyone to see. You then become the governor of the round. At this point, all the other players pay you respect, and then you collect any other respect owing from the profit on your card. Now all the other players have to reveal their cards too. If they've got six or more of the same crime in their hand, they've been caught red-handed, and they've got to choose between paying their parole or go to prison, which is basically missing the next round. Of course, you as the governor, with your newfound influence, might decide to protect them, but that's down to you. Once all that's been sorted, the governor takes a decree card from the decree pile. Could be good, could be bad, who knows? Might affect you, might not. I won't worry about it. Once all that's said and done, crime deck shuffle, next dealer starts. Off you go again, then you carry on like that until someone gets 25 respect points, at which point they become the governor. I know what you're thinking, not all you've got eight friends to play with, have you? Which is why the governor also comes with a two and three player version of the game. This one's played using the crime deck. Each player starts off with seven cards. The rest of the crime deck is left as a draw pile. When it's your turn, you draw the top card from the pile, and if you can match three identical crime cards, you can then commit that crime. If you can't, you discard the card back down to seven. It's the next person's turn. First player to commit all eight crimes is the winner. But be careful, when you commit some crimes, you trigger special actions which affect the other players. So let's recap. Two free play game takes 10 or 15 minutes. It means you've got just enough time to put around him before the lights out, or whilst you're waiting for those other mugs to turn up so you can play the party game. The main party game takes 30 to 90 minutes depending on the number of players and how good you are. Both are easy to learn, they're both fun to play. So remember with a governor, you're getting two games in one, plus a load of variants on the party game. Can't say fair in that, can I? If 